from the moment you get your first job at 14, 15, 16, the moment you earn your first dollar from this job, you are now entering the game of money and wealth building. Now, most of us had no idea we were even playing this game. We had no idea we were playing this game and no idea uh, what are the rules or how to win or even how to play. And the reason is simply because you weren't taught. It's not because you're dumb. It's not because other people are dumb. It's simply because nobody sat you down and they taught you. And you want me to prove that? What I want you to do is I want you to read this stat right here. Then I want you to read this stat right here. And then I want you to read this stat right here. The average person has no idea how to play this game. They have no idea how to play the game because most people don't know it even exists. And the people who do know, what they do is they keep it to themselves. They keep it a secret. You understand what I'm saying? And the people who are wanting to share this information with the world, what they do is they take the game, they take an outline of the game, they break it up into a thousand pieces, think of it like a puzzle, and then they spread it across a bunch of different things. You'll find a couple nuggets in books. You'll find a couple nuggets in, in podcast. You'll find a couple nuggets in these, these videos that these people produce. You'll find there's so many like little gems and little nuggets. And if you're anything like me, where I recognized that the internet was such a powerful place and I could get all this information, I took the free route. The free route is because I had no money. And the free route was you have to go and you have to collect as many gems as possible, right? Collect as many puzzle pieces as possible. And when you collect all these puzzle pieces, now you have like a bunch of puzzle pieces and you have to start trying to put it together. Because again, if you're putting together a, piece, a puzzle, the thing that you're going to need the most is what it even looks like. What is the outline? What is What am I even building here? And of course, you need the puzzle pieces. But, but when you're in this game of money, you're in this game of wealth building, they are not giving you the box. They're not giving you the outline. They just give you a bunch of pieces and say, good luck. And again, you have to actively pursue to get those pieces. From start to finish, it took me nine years. And again, that's me actively pursuing it. That's me watching podcasts. That's me watching videos. That's me reading books. All these videos. Do me doing all this other stuff. And it took me nine years to get all the puzzle pieces and finally put them together. That's the free route. So if you're going to take the free route, I suggest that's what you get started at books, podcasts, all these other stuff, because you have no money. If you do have money, if you do have resources, please, <laughs> if you don't take anything from this video, take the paid route. All right. Because the paid route is going to give you everything out front. And what's instead of taking nine years, it's going to condense it for you to understand it within a week and then start practicing it within two weeks. That's how you win. That's how you realize that it's the reason why you're at the place that you're at in your life is not because you're dumb. It's simply because you either have no money. And so you have to take the free route, which takes forever, or you have money and you just simply haven't been paying experts. You haven't been paying for help. That's why I created the wealth, the game of money and the game of wealth course, right? You can find that in description is because I needed that outline so bad. I needed to know, first of all, the outline, I wanted to know the picture of the puzzle, what it looks like. And then I wanted to know, okay, how do I play and how do I win at the level that I'm at? Okay. How do I budget money? What's the basis of credit? What's the basis of investing? What's the money mindset? Like, what is these things? Okay. And so that's why I created that course, which you can find in the description box below. If you have the money, I highly suggest you get that. If not, well, you have to take the free route until you're able to save up that money. But again, understand this, this isn't by accident. This is simply because you were born into a certain socioeconomic level. You were either born in poverty, you were born poor, you were born middle class, you were born rich. And just because you are or wealthy or elite, and just because you're at these levels, it doesn't mean that you're golden because you're at this point. I, I thought that way when I was first on my journey, I was like, okay, all I have to do is just like hang around rich people and then like soak up the knowledge. So I would work in like these rich areas I would work with rich people's kids and I would talk to their kids about like the game of money and like wealth building and they would have no idea. And I'm like, how the fuck? Like you're rich, like your house is huge. How do you not know about the, because again, their parents did not sit them down and teach them about this money. So, so the stats that you guys read, read where people are living paycheck to paycheck, that includes people who make six figures. 
You understand? There's some people, just because you make a bunch of money, that doesn't mean you understand the game of money. That's not how that works. Because income is simply the top end of the funnel when it comes to the whole game. And so just because you make a lot of income doesn't make things easier, of course, right? Does it give you results faster? Of course. But if you still don't know what to do, if you still don't understand the game, it's not going to happen for you. Does that make sense? So you have to understand that these things, there's a system at play and you have to follow the system as quickly as possible. Because this is how when people say like buzz phrases like um, have your money work for you, make money in your sleep. All these things are true, but it's a part of a system. And if you're not, if you don't have the system, if you're not funneling the system, these things don't happen for you. So let me get, let me give you guys an example, right? Let's just talk about uh, stocks. Um, I don't even want to talk about so. Let's talk about a uh, crypto. Let's see. Let me go to my Coinbase account right here. My phone's right here. Is what I'm looking at. Today alone, I made. What is that? A 10 or a six? Sixteen dollars, sixteen dollars and fifty one cents. Right. In the week, I made twenty two dollars in a month. I made one hundred and forty dollars. Now, again, you know what I did to earn that money? Nothing. I didn't do anything. I just had money in these in these investments and they've been going up on their own. Now, again, investments go up, they go down, but still, for the most part, they go up. So my, my question to you is, do you have something like that? Do you have an investment account? Do you have crypto? Do you have stocks? Do you have money working for you while you're sleeping? Do you have money coming in while you're sleeping? Most of the time is no. And it's simply because you don't understand the game and you're not playing the game. Does that make sense? So really ask yourself this question. Really ask yourself this. What do I know about money? Take your notebook. Take your journal. If you don't have a journal, you're not in the game. If you don't have a journal, you're not in the game. If you don't have a journal, you're not in the game. If you don't have a journal, you're not in the game. Take that journal and ask yourself, what do I know about money? What's my system? And if you do not have a system, get one as soon as possible. Again, there's the free route where you have to collect all these gems and figure it out yourself, or you take the paid route and you allow somebody to tell you what it is. So all you have to do is play fill in the blank. Okay. So if, again, if you're interested in that course, it's in the description, go ahead and get that course. But also understand this, and this, this is something that I really want to talk about. I'm going off, I'm going, I want to free, I want to freestyle a little bit. One of the things that I used to do when I was younger is I would go on Zillow. I would go on, I think it's called Redfin. It's like these, these housing apps, right? And I would go into my area and I would search up like half a million dollar homes, million dollar homes. And so they would, they would range from half a million to like 10, 20, 30 million dollars. And I realized it was the first time I realized that there was all these houses around me. I didn't know that there were houses around me. If you look up in, if you go to Zillow or some housing app and you look up million dollar houses around you, it's probably like five minutes from you or 10 minutes from you, 20 minutes from you. And so the first thing that I realized when I was driving is they're always tucked off. Oh my God. I remember, so listen, the first, the first house that I went to. I was driving. I was like five minutes down the road. I think it was like five to 10 minutes down the road. I went five to 10 minutes down the road. I'm like, I've been driving down the same street for years and I didn't see, I'm like, what are they talking about? And I drove down and then it like, it was like a left turn and I looked and it was like a bunch of trees and like this small little pathway that again, I passed this road hundreds of times, thousands of times even never saw it, but it wasn't until I was actively looking for it that I saw it and I was like, what? And I turned into it and it like, and, you, and you'll notice this, maybe it's just because of where I live, there's like a bunch of trees and stuff. There's, there's like, we have an abundance of trees. Um, but again, it's always ducked off in the back somewhere. And so I turned down these trees and it's like a bunch of trees. And then all of a sudden it opens up and there's just like million dollar houses. And I'm like, what? Cause I've, listen, I've been in my, I've been in my town for like a good, like 10, five, eight years. And I've passed the street so many times. And it wasn't until I was actively pursuing it, actively searching for it. I was like, what? It blew my mind. And so what that led me to do is I would just like, I would go around in my area, like a 50 mile radius. And I remember I saw this house. I want to say it was like three and a half million, $4 million. And I was like, I'm going to go see it. I want to go see it. So I went to go see it. Right. 
So an another thing about like big houses for the most part is they're usually spread out. They're not like close together, like resident, like these, like normal residential houses. They're like really spread out. They have like really huge lawns. And so I was like, I got to see it. Cause I saw the pictures and I saw the backyard and the backyard had this picture of like, they had like a pool and then it was like rolling Hills. It was incredible. I was like, I got to see this. So I drive down, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> The balls I had, bro, because I would never do this to this day. <laughs> the balls I had. So I drive down and this guy, it was uh, a, um, what do they call it? A gate. It was a gate. And I was like, oh, dang. It was a gate. But then he had like a, it wasn't like a fence. It was a rock structure. So it was like, just imagine like a bunch of rocks and they try to stack it onto each other to make it a fence. Okay. But guess how big that was? I was like, it was like three and a half feet. So in my mind, I was like, I can't drive through the gate, but. I could just jump over this, this guy's um fence, <laughs> right? And so, I, oh my, like, listen, I'm thinking about it now. I'm like, that was so, it was so stupid. So I park in front, cause I'm like, the house is empty. You know, they're putting it for sale. It's whatever. So I park in front of the gate, in front of the gate, where if anybody's driving by, they're like, why is this guy just sitting at this guy's gate? So I park in front of the gate. I get out my car. I jump over the the thing. I, listen, when I say this, like, it was like three feet high. Like you could probably just, step over it like that's how high it was and so i'm like yeah i'm not gonna let this stop me so i go out there and i go up they all got a giant like driveway and a hill and i go over the hill and i go to the backyard and there's like a pool yeah like a shed and it was it was the it was the image and i went in like early in the morning because I, I knew that i didn't want to hit traffic and i didn't want people to like drive by and be like what's going on but i looked and i saw it and i was like wow it was so beautiful right so just put a pin in that right here. Right now we're in the backyard. When I was a kid, I, I grew up down the street from a, a housing neighborhood that was being built up. And what the construction workers would do, or the people who were working on the houses, what they would do is they would put like those industrial locks. You guys know like housing locks? They would put that on the front door, right? And so I was like, oh, I couldn't get into the front door. And so my little brain genius, but when I was a kid, I went around the back and they had a back door. And I was like, I wonder if they locked the back door. And I opened the door and it wasn't locked. And I was like, I was like, what? What? And I, I tried like a different houses. Houses, the front was locked, the back was always unlocked. And so I was like, oh, I found a hack, I found a cheat code. Right. And so I would go into these houses and just be chilling because they would be like staged for um open houses. And so I'm chilling. And then so I, I remembered that. And I was like, yo, I wonder if this guy's like, I wonder if his um like his, his, his door is open. So I'm like, okay, let me check the front door first. I'm so glad. I am so glad I tried, I tried to do the front door first because I was in the backyard. So I could have easily tried the back door, but I want the front door. So I'm walking, I'm chilling. And again, I'm over this guy's gate and there's like a bunch of, it's just his house because it's a big yard. And so I'm walking and I walk into like this driveway where it's like the, the driveway opens up and there's like a black Sprinter van. And I was like, huh. Like they just have a sprinter van. I'm thinking like, oh, they're just so rich. They just have a bunch of stuff and they're leaving it here. I look, so there's like the front door and then next to it is like a giant like bay window. It's like a huge window. I don't know if it's called the bay window, but it's a huge window. And I look, I'm about to go, like, I'm about to go up to this front door. I look and I see like this giant computer, right? And I look over the side and I see a guy on his computer and I immediately, I'm like, oh shit really think about this right it's like eight o'clock in the morning seven eight o'clock in the morning i'm parked in front of this guy's gate with a little tiny rock structure that i hopped over oh my god and i'm just in this dude's yard like he, he could he could and, and it, it'd be completely my fault you know what i'm saying and so i see i'm like oh he i see him he doesn't see me so i'm like and i start running down the hill bro and i get in the car and i leave and i just like like I'm thinking now, like, are you stupid, bro? But like back then it was like, I had to see it, man. I had to see it and I did see it. So the whole point of this story, uh, what I was, what I was trying to tell you is cause I was looking at the rent and the rent was, I want to say it was like 20, $20,000 a month or $25,000 a month. Right. And I really want you to think about this. I really want you to think about this. Cause this, this reiterates my whole point of most people don't understand the game of money. They don't understand the game of wealth building excuse me because 25 you do you have any idea how much money you would have to make to afford $25,000 a month so take the highest position that you can think about 
right? I'm going to say the president of the United States. The president of the United States makes roughly, I want to say last time I checked, it was like $400,000 a year, $400,000 a year. The president of the United States, right? I think that $400,000 a year is like roughly 35, 30, 32 to $35,000 a month, right? If you were the president of the United States making $400,000 a year, you could not afford to live in that house, right? Because that, that's that's 30, let's just say 32,000. That's $32,000 before taxes. If we take taxes out, you're probably making like 20 grand. You understand what I'm saying? Depending on the state that you live in. $20,000. You So the president of the United States couldn't afford to live in this house. So why is it every time that I go to these these houses, I went to these houses, there's if they're full of they're full of people. How is that? There's no way that they're doing it off their jobs. There's no way. So you gotta you gotta ask yourself that that me doing that those many years ago made me realize that there's something deeper going on here. And it wasn't until a while right now that not even right now, but just like a couple of years ago, when I realized like, oh, I see what's going on here. And it's because they're playing the game. Right? Because and if if you don't understand the game, what you're being what you think has to happen is you think that you have to get a really good job and then save and then you can afford to live this lifestyle. That's not how this works, bro. It's not how it works. There's more at play. And so, again, that's just one of the things that you're going to realize after you get the education, after you get the habits, you're going to realize exactly what you have to be doing with your money, with your savings, with your investment accounts. And then it gets to a point to where you start increasing the amount of money that you're making to the point that you're like, I see how they're doing it. So that's why I created the course. So again, if you want to know this information, if you want to understand the habits that you have to do, I highly suggest that you take that course, which is in the description. But if you don't want to take the course, you don't believe in courses for whatever reason, then take the free route. Okay. The free route, read books, listen to podcasts, but understand that there's a whole game that's going on around you. And if you're not actively pursuing the truth or actively pursuing what that game is, you're going to be lost just like everybody else. Okay. So I know this video has been long enough. Um, if you made it this far, type in money, 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 <laughs> money, money, money. Uh, and with that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Peace out.